Today I'm reviewing this GoAndos fishing lure set. The set that I purchased is actually 78 pieces. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what's inside. And then I'll go ahead and put some on my fishing poles and show you how it is. So of the 78 pieces, a lot of them are going to be really, really small. So there's a lot of hooks in there. There's a lot of um, different parts in there that will account for those 78 pieces. And each one of these is gonna be one of those pieces. Um, so these little plot rubber um, bugs, each one of those is gonna be a piece. Each one of these um, hooks is going to be a piece. And of course, because they're inside of a little box, they're all gonna be kind of tangled up in that sort of deal. So that's important to keep in mind. Um, you've got a lot of these little rubber worms. Um, and again, these are really small and each of those is counted as a piece. So don't expect for it to be all big usable pieces. Truthfully, I can't even imagine how well that's gonna stay on a hook. Or there are a couple of pretty good sized lures, um, these here, which are gonna be, gonna be the ones that I'm gonna go ahead and throw on um, when I'm fishing here at the lake. And then again, you've got a bunch of little rubber parts here. So one disappointment with this is just the lack of organization. It's just kind of thrown into this little package and then it's all in there together. So there's not like a little spot um, for each of these hooks or anything like that. It's just all kind of in there. Um, so that is a downside. And the other downside to me would be just the lack of hooks. So there's not a whole ton of hooks in there. You can see there's one there. Um, and I think there's like two or three total inside of this little bag. So not a ton of actual hooks in this set. Um, obviously I'm gonna have a bunch of hooks that are in my tackle box. So that's not a huge deal for me. But if you're a beginner bass fisherman and you don't have a bunch of hooks to go with this, that is gonna be an issue, especially if you get like tangled or something. So you can see I've got the pink eye hook and then there was that silver one as well on this side. So there's at least two in there. I'll go ahead and open up and see for sure. Um, and there's that red one as well. No, that's the same one. Um, so there are, there are a couple of hooks in there, but kind of disappointed in the number of hooks. And then also what they're counting as pieces. Let me just pull this out here. So I empty out that bag and each one of these is going to be considered a piece. So you've got these little um, round balls. That's going to be a piece. You've got these little, um, I guess, weights is what they are. That's going to be a piece. You've got some hooks in there, of course, um, but not really a ton of hooks. Like I said, I've only got two of those um, hooks with the eyeballs on them. And then I've got a couple of hooks there. I've got a couple of treble hooks. And then each of these small connectors, each of these little round guys here, those are all gonna be considered a piece. So although it's 78 pieces of usable pieces, I'm gonna say you've got um, two, two lures here uh, and then this third one here. So you've got three good lures that you can use. And then you've got uh, maybe five of these pieces um, that will work well. They kind of have the treble hook attached. And then you've got all these rubber things. And some of those are gonna be usable, like these bigger ones are gonna, gonna work well. I'm gonna try out these. Um, on my regular hook actually, and just uh, see how that goes. But um, overall, a bunch of small pieces count towards a 78 piece count. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook a couple of these up onto my pole, see how they cast. All right, so I got it here on the end of the line, as you can see, and I'm out at the pond. This pond is stocked with bass and with bluegill. So we typically will pull bass out of here all the time, just on rubber worms. First time using a crankbait or a jig out here on this specific uh, piece of property but gonna go ahead and give it a whirl. So let me go ahead and cast it out and we'll see how she flies. All right, just kind of threw it a little bit sidearm there, kind of hard to get exactly, but definitely has a good heft to it. This specific one does anyway. I'm gonna reel it in, see if we can catch something. So I actually did pull one in on the first cast. This is a top water lure. So it did go ahead and stay right on the top of the water. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook him and throw him back. That literally took me all of about 10 seconds. It just kind of sits on top of the water as you're reeling it, just kind of popping it along the top and got to hit about five foot from shore. So truthfully, that works better than the rubber worms that we've been using out here. Like I said, the first time we used a jig or a crankbait or whatever you want to call this on uh, this specific pond, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out and give her another try. Let me see how far it'll cast if I just throw it straight out. So definitely has a good amount of heft to it. As you can see, I got it, I'm gonna say probably about 40, 40, 50 foot, maybe in a bit further away from the shore. So it works well if you're trying to get it into a specific spot. So overall, just some decent quality. Um, didn't have any issues with it pulling off or taking on water. It just did, this specific one does just float right across the top of the water. So that worked as it should. Didn't have any issues with the hooks pulling off. I even got it caught in the weeds a couple of times. Um, didn't have any issues with that. The, like I said, the one downside would be that of the um, 70 plus pieces or so, a lot of them are just going to be tiny pieces. So kind of hard to call that a 78 piece set in my opinion. Um, yeah, sure, it's got 78 pieces, but man, you, you're going to, you know, you're going to use five of those pieces to make one specific piece that you're going to actually fish with or 
you know, they're just little little tiny pieces you're going to end up losing, that sort of deal. So, however, the three uh, three jigs or crankbait or whatever heads you want to call them um, do work nice and uh, definitely catch bass, as you can see. So, overall, a pretty decent product.